All right, all right, Bourbon Quest. Welcome back. Yeah. Oh. We got a special episode tonight. Stay hydrated, my friends. Man, I've been waiting on this for like three, four months. Uh, what do we have that we're bringing to you today? I literally picked this up uh, between, come on up here, Q. Uh, I picked this up between Christmas and New Year's. And I, I felt confident I was going to get it. Um, but it, it, it took some work. I, I mean, I got it at uh, MSRP, which I want to say was, what was it, like 60 bucks? And it's 60 bucks for a, a 375 milliliter. Uh, it's none other than your Jack Daniels small batch Koi Hill. Hell yeah. So, I'm super excited about this. Uh, I mean, I've been, hey, that's why patience is a virtue, which if you know me at all, I have very little patience, but I, I, I kept my patience to get this one and it paid off. We're going to uncork it tonight. It's your Jack Daniels small batch special release, Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> I, you're probably not, you, I'll, I mean, I can show it to you, you're probably not going to see it, but it's a, it's 149.8 proof. I was like, dang, God, can you give me 0.2 more to make it 150? But no, um, it was, uh, the boiling date is, uh, 523.22, uh, barrel number eight. House number 13, Bats number three. Yeah, I mean, it's a beauty. I mean, it looks so cute sitting next to its big, well, it's the big brother because it's a bigger bottle, but the little brother packs a more powerful punch because we've got last year's uh, single barrel Koi Hill, and this is, uh, this was our, uh, whiskey of the year for uh last year which would be 2021 yeah yeah because we just did 2022 i get, and now it's 2023 it's confusing but now the jack daniels single barrel special release uh coil the single barrel i have is uh house number eight it came in at 142.5 uh, zero so 142 point uh, I'm sorry 142 proof hazmat you cannot take either one of these on a fucking plane but no like this was my whiskey of the year for 2021 and it's amazing and so we're gonna see how this smock batch uh, at a higher proof compares now this doesn't drink 142 I mean it's super rich it's bacon molasses caramel vanilla I mean there's only four or five notes in last year's whiskey of the year or the year two years ago now that all oh, this shit confusing but no it's amazing and I want to see so yeah this is the one we just picked up uh the small batch versus single barrel koi hill at a higher proof at 149.8 wish it could have gotten to 150 but hey we're not complaining we're just saying All right, so yeah, fresh corn pot for a little baby. Uh, special release, uh, Koi Hill small batch pop. Oh, America! Hell yeah! Nice pour, 
and then hey doesn't matter 375 milliliters 750 1.75 you get your same two ounce pour into our infinity bottle. Hell yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, God damn it. Well, there's your first mistake for 2023. We spilled that two ounce pour. That's a damn shame. Oh well, Q, get up there and drink you some small batch. All right, so, yeah, damn. All right, uh, remember, stay hydrated. We're drinking some high proof shit. I'm going to say, right off the bat, I mean, Can I tell a difference? I mean, these are these. Well, if you watched last year's version, uh, the uh, Jack Daniels uh, single barrel barrel proof Coal Hill scored a perfect ten because it was so rich and the color was perfect. I mean, I'm thinking the color on this small batch. I mean, it's at least equal to, and I'm thinking it might just be a little, a hair above, which is phenomenal. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. That's... Man. No, this is even more on the nose it's there's bacon molasses caramel vanilla chocolate oh my gosh this might even be better I don't know I shouldn't say that all right well, this is the small batch the little bottle I mean obviously coming in at 149.8 about seven point eight proof points higher man you could literally spend ten minutes or more on the nose alone it's does it nose 149.8 no it knows it's about 130 but Oh my gosh, that, that chocolate, that molasses. Mm. Yeah. Whew. All right. Don't disappoint on the palate. Cheers, Bourbon Class. Here's your Jack Daniels. Small batch. Coy Hill. 149.8 proof. Jesus Christ. Whoa. That is hot as fuck. Now there's there's cinnamon, brown sugar, molasses, caramel, vanilla. Wow, that's, 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 that's definitely hazmat. That's freaking hot as hell. I mean, I'm almost tempted to add a little bit of water to it, but I, and I don't want to, I don't want to dilute that. It's. Wow, that's, man, maybe I'm glad they didn't get to 150 because it's already hot as fuck, but no, there's, there's some smoke, I mean, there's caramel, vanilla, 
but cherry man it is super hot on the nose as well as the palate oh I get I get tons of cherry a little bit of banana tons of spice man keep doing your Koi Hill shit Jack Daniels cause I mean this is not your daily drinker by any means it's hot as fuck but man those flavors come through <laughs> I think it's a little bit more complex than the single barrel, but much hotter than the single barrel. Alright, I'm going to hydrate and compare them. Yeah, this isn't nose near as hot. Again, I wouldn't say either one is complex. There's four or five notes, but they're at their highest level of their notes that they deliver. All right, cheers. Mm. Man, that's so good. That is delicious. That was my whiskey of the year for 2021. It stands up, it still delivers. Now we need to compare the two. I'm gonna say, well, I won't say, I'll leave that. Oh. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give the nose to the small batch by a slim margin but nonetheless the edge to the small batch now I want to see what the palette says because I think it's gonna lean towards the single barrel Oh, that is so good. It's so molasses, uh, bacon, biscuits, spice. Man, I wish I could have four of those, honestly. And then you go to the small batch, and I think the nose is better on the small batch, but. Alright, cheers. These are, I'm about to get fucked up on this hot proof shit. Man. I'm being at 149.8 proof. I mean, it punches you right in the face. And then, deep hug. I mean, I, I think it's a point of diminishing returns. Um, do I think this is great? Yes. Would I buy another one at whatever I paid for it? 59 60 bucks? Yes. Would I chase it? Mmm. Mmm. No, I probably wouldn't chase it uh, for a second bottle. I mean, I would chase it for a first bottle for sure. 
And then you figure you're paying sixty bucks, so at for a three seventy five milliliter bottle, so that's one hundred twenty bucks. Yeah, is it still worth that? I don't think it's as good as the uh, uh, single barrel. And I think I, I mean I think there's that proof point of diminishing returns. No. Mm -hmm. You want hazmat? This is 142 proof hazmat. You can't take it on plane. Freaking delicious whiskey of the year for 2021 on Bourbon Quest. Yeah, is this? I'll put it in for uh, 2023 because we got it so late. I know it was a 2022 release, but uh, we didn't get it in time to drink it. We'll put it in the blind for uh, 2023. I think it's, uh, yeah, I would definitely buy it again. It's not better than the single barrel. It's probably a little bit darker in color. But, and it's great. I mean, it's really great. But, like I said, I mean, I bought it for what it right around 60 bucks I would do that again I would even go up to 120 but I've seen this shit even 120 would be a stretch for me I'd probably go ahead and do it but I've seen this shit like on secondary markets for like eight nine hundred bucks for a 375 milliliter bottle, or are you, y'all damn lost your minds. Yeah, that's not worth that. All right, I'm glad I got to do this. It's, we'll put it in for whiskey of the year. It actually might win because it's freaking fantastic, but I will say it's not better than last year's Rookie of the Year, the uh, single barrel coil, even at a lighter proof. I mean, I think you get to 140, and then above and beyond that, there's diminishing returns. Like, how much more proof can you create quality? All right. I'm off the rails. So is Cube. You're fat ass. Oh, shake it up, baby. Alright, we got a roll. We'll be back again soon. So, subscribe, ring that bell, smash that like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Jack Daniels, Cole Hill, or anything Jack Daniels. And that's a wrap, yo. Hey, just remember, as always, my wish for you is that all your bourbon questions come true. Ain't that right, kid? Love you, baby. That's a wrap.